Hi everyone, it's Sui here. And today I feel like I need to do a little bit of organizing, a little shelf shuffle. And I know you all love to watch people organize their books. So I'm bringing you along with me. It shouldn't take long, but I am a little stressed because I need to find room downstairs in the crazy chaotic mess of the library it is down there. I need to find some room for some of these books. So let me tell you what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm holding my camera today, so it's a little wobbly for a minute, but here's where I film. So you're familiar with this setting, kind of, maybe. And next to me, I have this shelf that I put here when I designed my little office room. It's almost been a year. It's crazy, but not quite yet. Anyway, so I put this little shelf next to my chair and it kind of turned into books that I'm wanting to read, like the up and coming books, the very immediate TBR. So a lot of these books on here now are ones I read from last year. So I need to move them downstairs. And here we have a stack of books there that I got for Christmas. Um, and they need to go on this shelf somehow, somewhere, because they are now the more immediate TBR. Does this make sense at all? The top shelves are books about books, which I did a whole video on back when I moved them into this room from the other spot where they were at. So they're going to stay put for now. I don't know if you're interested in seeing what they all are and me talking about them, but if you are, then be sure and go and watch that older video from last year when I was first organizing this space. I'm going to just make a stack, first of all, of what needs to be moved. So these three right here, I can see are ones for actually are ones I got at the bookstore a while back. They're going to stay here for now. This one I'm going to read in a couple months for book club. This one I'm going to read in March with whoever wants to read with me. I'm doing a read along. I can't remember if I've talked about that on here yet. I made a read along page on the story graph. So look this book up on story graph and you'll see my read along that I created. This one is this fourth book that I need to read still. And, and the third book is somewhere else. We'll get to it in a minute. So I'm leave that on here. Oathbringer, I'm still working on. Of course, here's where I'm at. Hmm. Got a ways to go still. So none of those are gonna move. Let's see how we do down here. Torch Against the Night is the second book and I did read that one. So let's move that one. Not Here to Stay Friends. I did read that one last year during my fluffy summer. Borrow My Heart, I did read that one last summer also. My Contrary Mary, we read for um, the club. So that one's down. The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery, um, Tori borrowed and stuck back here on the shelf. It needs to go back downstairs. This is one I read a few years ago. This is one I read last year, The House in the Cerulean Sea. It needs to go downstairs somewhere. Lessons in Chemistry, we read last year for book club. It, it needs to go down. All My Rage, one of my favorite books from last year. It needs to go down. Summer of Broken Rules, I got this one and read it. For, I think, did I read it in the summer last year too? Yeah, nice YA rom-com. Needs to go down. The Girls I've Been, we read for book club last year. It needs to go down. Oh my goodness, we got this whole shelf pretty much. And the lovely... Leo Tolstoy short story collection I read that made me absolutely crazy. Oh my goodness. Those were that last one. That Sonata one. I just, okay. Anyway, got that one done. It needs to go down. So, whoa, there's the pile of that that I need to take down. Okay. What's on this one? These four right here, I pulled off my shelf from downstairs last year during Asian readathon. And I think I kind of want to just leave them here to see if I can get to them this year. But tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow can go, because we all know that one got read. Put it here, and we have Lauren Graham's Talking As Fast As I Can, which I read. I mean, listen to. <laughs> that can go. The Court of Thorns and Roses can go downstairs. Oh, this one needs to go back in my stack of Christmas books. I was wondering what happened to that. That's where it ended up. Um, Betting on the Boy Next Door. This one I didn't read yet. This is going to be a fun flip. Romance, if I want to sometime. This Woven Kingdom I didn't get to yet. Oh, this is a book I bought at the uh, writing conference last year of Queens and Kings and Colonies, science fiction. They both die at the end. That one is waiting for me for quite a while. I should get to that one. And Rhythm of War. 
you know what? It's going to be a while till I get to this one. So I'm taking it off the immediate TBR. So it's going to go down. And then there is the third of the um, Ember in the Ashes. So I'm going to put it up here by its partner, three and four. I need to read them soon. Okay, so those other ones are going to stay. And what's this shelf? These are the ones I just got signed last week, these first three, at the event that I went to. Rescue, I'm not going to... I'm not going to read immediately, so I'm going to take it down for now. The Christopher Paolini book I really want to get to, so it's going to stay. Extreme Makeover by Dan Wells I bought last week and had him sign. I think I'm going to try to get to that one sooner than later. These ones were all ones I grabbed off the shelf downstairs to try and do prompts for the Pop Sugar 2023. So now we got new prompts, so I don't know. I think I'm going to put them back down. Except when my name is Kiko, I might add to I'm gonna add to the Asian, the Asian stack down there. Uh, what I saw and how I lied. Why do I have this one? I don't know what I was gonna do with that one. Okay, it is gonna go down. The guest list. Do I keep that one up here a little bit longer? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll keep that one up. And then Tori's letting me borrow her Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo book, so I need to read that one. Shining the light and calling the moon. I think I'm going to put downstairs for now. I read one and didn't read the other. This one I read, so it can go downstairs. And this one I read, just won't spring for the boy band star. Ah, yes, I got that one read, so it's going to go down. There's my stack on my chair now of books I need to carry downstairs my favorite part and I don't have help today. So I'm going to have to turn the camera off and do that in a minute. But first of all, let's see about this stack. And if it, you guys getting dizzy yet? I'm trying to do this with one hand. I should maybe, maybe for this part, I will put it on tripod. Hang on a second. Okay. So I'm going to hurry and go through this Christmas stack and see if, um, if most of them should be on the shelf or if some of them I don't plan to read right away and I will take them downstairs for a while or maybe I'll actually go put them on my bedroom shelf which is sort of the not immediate TBR but the second level TBR. Do you guys have levels of TBR books? Yeah okay so that's maybe that's what I'll do is I'll go stick them in the other space in my room on the shelf. So Wrath of the Storm this one I stuck here because we got it signed to Tori when we were at the the event last week so I need to give that one to her for wars and I think oh boy this is gonna be hard okay um let's just see what will fit Aurora's end super fake love song postcards from summer let me see if I can get them to right here with these books when we were infinite the electric kingdom um, <clears throat> this one, okay, this one, Perks of Being Wallflower, I actually want to start this one, like, in the next week. So it's not even going to go on the shelf. It's going to go to the nightstand. Um, a song for Ella Gray. And Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welsh and Lola and the Boy Next Door. I'm going to talk about this book in an upcoming Five on Friday, and I want to reread it. So I'm taking it off, and maybe I'll reread it in... February for a nice swoony book. Swoony books coming up five on Friday. I haven't read a great swoony book for a long time. I'm really missing that. So if you guys have recommendations for something really swoony, we're not talk, talking sexy times. We're not talking spice. We're talking swoony. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? House of Leaves. I, I'm, I do. Oh, guys. Okay. I really want to try this one. It's not going to be one that I concentrate on and solely, at least that's my thought. I can't do this one by itself. It will take me like the whole year, but I'm gonna leave it out with the intention to get to it, hopefully. You should see me in a crown. Let's stick this one up here with that. Um, a Conjuring of Light. I would really love to get this to this one really soon too. Putting that one down here. The Circus Train. Let's see, I'm gonna shove this one out. Let's put some 
all the, these hardbacks up here together. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. I want to read that one soon. Okay, that's about as all I can get in that one. Okay, and then we have the Fourth Wing books. But they, they, these ones have to happen. These ones have to happen. Okay, so let's leave this guy right here. How does that look? I got them all. I got them all. I left these ones out because they're more immediate. Hopefully I'm still on the camera. I can't see myself today. Okay, so how does that look for... Let's put these ones right here for now. And the whole stack is gone. Now I just got to go downstairs and figure out where to put these ones. I'll meet you down there. Welcome to the chaotic basement corner library. I have a little halo of light. Not sure how to get rid of it, but we'll just we'll just add to the ambiance, right? Some of you are familiar with this space. Um, some of you, if you're new to the channel, wah, if you're new to the channel, maybe, dude, stop. Um, anyway, if you're new to the channel. This is my library corner, crazy, chaotic stuff. And we have tried to, man, that's much darker. Okay, what was I saying? If you are new to this channel, then you will want to go and see when we organized this whole space way back in the beginning of the days of this channel. Um, it's kind of fun. We, it was a crazy mess. But the problem is, is there's not a whole lot of space to put more stuff. And as you can see, can you see? As you cannot see, as you can maybe see, there you go. That's what I've just hauled down. Except the ones, except the ones over there are duplicates from when we reorganize and I need to decide what to do with them. I got some ideas. As you can t see, maybe too, I started shoving things in. Can you see this spot over here? I was hoping I could find a spot where you could see most of the most of the shelves, but there's a whole section over here you can't really see. But as you can see, maybe I've started shoving. I started shoving things in random spots, and I it's gonna be messy. But let's just see what happens, okay? Now you can see when I'm over there. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's that light, not that light. It's okay. all those that I brought down in spots. There was only one real stressful one that I just put in the wrong spot over here because the Z's over there have no room. So yeah, that's a problem. Um, <clears throat> so now I just gotta figure out what to do with the little pile that's still on the table that, uh, that I'm either going to donate, do a giveaway, prizes. I'm not sure what I'm doing with those. I don't know where to look. I'm not sure what I'm doing those something. All right, so I feel so accomplished today just by organizing that little stack 
and getting the ones from upstairs that were all over the floor now on that shelf and the ones I've already read from last year all have spots over here. Yay! Until next time, happy reading.